but it was in a friendly's parking lot. I know it was that time I put my trust in Jesus Christ once and for all for my sins. And what a freeing feeling to have him take the burden that I was carrying so long. Being married to somebody with congenital heart defects, I was used to him being sick off and on. He always gets better. Bob always gets sick and always gets better. We still were trusting the Lord, I mean, and we were excited to serve him in the Philippines. And we were assured that there's hospitals out there and but unbeknownst to him or me, he had a um, blood infection. You know, we thought he was just dehydrated is what we thought was, was the case. That following Sunday, he preached. And he had a painting of, a, of a, a runner approaching the finish line. It said, what keeps you going? To die is Christ, to live is gain. Bob ended up having a headache that afternoon. We just thought he was sick, like he'll get better. So we went to a local small hospital. They took CAT scans and he was basically in congestive heart failure. By midnight, I'm realizing he's getting confused and he's getting out of it. And we're having the, I'm telling the nurse to call the doctor like he's getting bad. They eventually get the doctor to come in there and by that time, his eyes are rolling back in his head and he's losing consciousness. He, he was gone. I just knew immediately he was gone. Bob died doing what he loved to do. And uh, I, I was at peace because that's all we preached in this Catholic country was being right with God. You know, when you die, there's no second chance, no purgatory. It, it was just an amazing time and place to actually die with your boots on doing what you love to do and we were surrounded by everybody that we loved there in the Philippines. 11 months after my husband died, my daughter got in a very serious accident. She had a head injury and a, and a broken neck and was lifelined from the scene. Um, that was really hard. That was just really hard. Drove me to the point where uh, I just really was angry at God and angry at a lot of people um, for allowing something like this to happen. It's through that process in time that God finally led me to people that helped me process. I think I learned some important lessons such as we're not in a vacuum walking this thing. People like Cindy Phillips with her three boys greeting me here when we eventually came to Indiana. Diana Halsey, she really helped me to process what God was doing, that he was always up to something good even during these hard times. Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit. I discovered God to be a lot bigger than I could ever imagine. Right now I've discovered he does not fit in a box and I don't want him to. And this life is very temporary. When bad things happen, it's actually for my good and it's they're only temporary. They're only but for a moment, but work for me a far more eternal weight of glory. My name is Val Petro and Jesus is my Lord.